can't sing, so <laughs> I'll need to read. So today I'll be reading from Hamoshi, which is my debut collection. Um, Hamoshi means silence in Urdu, and the collection traces the British Pakistani self in relation to its silenced histories, voices, and experiences. So, in order to um, illustrate those preoccupations, I have chosen to read the following sequence. Four. You can find me under a tall tree, seeking to embody a hair of grass, a potted plant, a bewitching bird. Can I be from here if my roots lie elsewhere? Like tangled wire, my fingers fumble to find the source. I am the rose. I am the exiled heart. I trace wire to socket, loosen my grip and my hyphenated existence. I am what? I am not. A British what not. A coloured nervous condition destined to pick myself apart. My Baba Adam dealt with his two-part persona good and bad, it shadows my ego, reflects my fruitless form. I long to see motherland, caress the flesh of her hills, even though I was cast out from heaven a long time ago. Now faith is in faces of flowers, a rose mellow belongs here, there, everywhere. I stand outside myself, my home, my language, my rights. Unlike the foreign wind that blows life into the rose, I bring death to all my experiences, for my colour is a border. I am a distortion of lenses. The ego is like a mirror, and mine reflects the times, a judgement day complete with signs. I guard the other, I hold the honour, I grasp hope to let go of who I once never was. My mother tongue isolates me, tosses me away, caught between cultures which both shun me. I am a liability. Listen, do these hands not feel like yours? Can one experience diaspora in the body? The questions eat me. Inheritance. My cut hands carry ancient lines of dark rooms dense with hooker, chai, and madmen who bang on the daff and chant, order the murd kutosek meleke jaiki. My cut hands are fed, wed to speculative phrases, bound in his interpretations, fluent with accusations. I am made of his rib, yet I deserve his spit. Ancient lines of moonlit nights, prayers of men who gather to recite. Order the murd kutosek meleke jaiki. My captains bear the burden of hell, him and hope, for my hands hold the creation of sin. So, he points his finger to the thick text of rulings, circling vague phrases, and says, recite. Order the murd kutosek meleke jaiki. A woman will take a man to hell. A seeker's gospel. Let me sow smooth webs for you always, to trap your love, suck your blood always. Stoned from floating fantasies, I drink from your boundless, fruitful flood always. Let me beat the death, feel the echo of the eastern mountains thud always. For your hope holds the sun's intensity, nurtures my small divine bud always. I dance naked in fiery deserts to the holy song you hummed always, of starless nights, drunken deaths, and my could see us lust for the blessed flood always.
migration of sorrow. In me there is a migration song, replaying its refrain of sorrow. For a signature split the land, searing the tongues of many. A migration song of swarming massacres, camps, genocides, of colonial ethnic legacies, a parting of body and mind. Bloodshed bodies borders, borders bodies bloodshed. A man wakes his wife, wets gold to her wrist and runs, hiding in a field. Homeless, hopeless, uncertain of the future. A raw, grainy, undeveloped film. Lahore train station, crowded and confused. Multitudes lost in search of an idea of home. Parents unable to fend, to feed. They feel the thumping hearts of their children. This great migration, a clouded sun. It takes and takes and takes every light that speaks human, speaks life. Their innocence left in the old world. The life before in distant dreams. The life before the bloody streams. And the final poem. Eleven. We inhabit systems. I'm a shapeshifter. I walk into expectations. Once I spent so long trying to decode what was in my mother's head that I forgot to step out of it. Can you remember the exact time I first realized I felt trapped? You misplace an object, search for days to find it. Weeks later, it shows up in the most obvious place. This is how this works. I'm five years old. I take off my sandals. I smell heat. I remember a hue. Mess around with the RGB tool in Photoshop to create a taupe filter. That's the shade of the water. I step in. My feet can't touch the floor. I hold on to the edge. My skirt spreads like octopus legs. Water reaches my ears. I don't feel afraid. I don't feel anything. I feel in between something. Water feels like heavy air. It weighs you down until my cousin pulls me out. She's used to danger. This is her home. And I sit on the floor, somewhere away from home, and wonder what I just felt. Even the water told me I didn't belong. And then I remembered who I was. Thank you.